I was in the mood to do the lazy man's guide to barbecuing chicken, which isn't a great big secret or anything, but what the heck. Uh, I use this Stubbs uh, marinade. I get it at Safeway. Chicken marinade. And it's really zesty. Lots of lemony, citrusy type flavor. And I like to marinate, oh, at least three or four hours, at least. Put them in these, these big old bags here, because, I don't know, seems like you get more of the marinade surrounding the chicken that way. Big old breast, too. I got the biggest breast Safeway had today. Uh, let's see, about four pounds, about, about a pound each for each uh, split breast with the bone in. Leave those dudes in the refrigerator about four hours anyway, six if you can, and I flip them over every every hour. I also marinate some sliced peppers and onions, but since this is the lazy man's guide, I got them already sliced. A little bit indulgent, a lot more expensive obviously. Marinate these pups with just a little bit of olive oil. Yeah, that might have been too much. And I'm a big fan of balsamic vinegar on any kind of vegetables for marinating. Uh, well, my first cooking accident, there's always at least one or two when I'm doing the job. Uh, turns out my bag here has got a hole in it and the oil is leaking all over my counter. Now it looks like I got oil on the lens of the camera. Okay, got that problem fixed. Now we get a fresh bag here for the leaking bag that's made such a mess. Alright, now a secure bag for the vegetables. Let those marinate in that oil and vinegar for a good, oh, I don't know, eh, three or four hours. Eh, nothing like trying to get rid of olive oil on your counter. Kind of a good excuse to clean off your counter. So it was a good thing in the end. I'm a big fan of these small potatoes for going with chicken. And of course, got to have a couple of corn on the cob. Once again, lazy man guide. I bought them already shucked in the store. Extravagant, I know, but I'm lazy. Of course, it's always nifty to have a duck in the pool when grilling, although it probably makes them a bit nervous. You want to get your grill on high and close the lid. Let it cook for a bit on its own. For the potatoes, fill up an iron pot about halfway. I like to boil my potatoes in lots of hot sauce. And a bit of Cajun seasoning, plus sea salt. And while your water's boiling and the grill is heating up, good time to get your barbecue sauce ready. And nothing like a good old-fashioned paint brush from the hardware store for your basting when it comes time. Speaking of basting, be sure and save that good marinade sauce for use later when you do baste. Just keep the sauce and the marinade in your, in your baggie here so you have fewer dishes to clean. Then set those breasts out for about five or ten minutes after they've been in the refrigerator. Get them ready for the final torture. While your hot sauce for the potatoes is heated up, just drop a corn cob in there for just a second or two. Then set it on butter, patties of butter on tin foil and wrap those dudes up for putting on the grill later on. You want to boil your potatoes, I guess a medium boil for about 30 minutes. I grill the chicken by what's called the indirect method, which means you turn the middle burner off and put those dudes right in the center, the big thick portion, the, the bigger ones of course, right on the middle. Close your lid, turn down the other burners to around medium and leave them alone for 20 minutes. And for the first 15 or 20 minutes or so, I just set my vegetables and my corn on top of the grill. Let them warm up a bit. 
Then just take a break and admire your flowers. These are from Safeway. After about oh, 10 minutes or so is when you want to baste them a bit. I used to time it when I smoked by having a cigarette. I don't do that anymore, so I'm a little off kilter. Basting is really critical for chicken. It keeps it moist. When you know you're about 25 minutes or so out, go ahead and rack up your corn. After about 20 minutes at 350, flip those birds over. And of course, more basting. Don't forget the basting. Five minutes from the finish line, flip them over again, and get that barbecue sauce on there. Turn over your corn, and throw those sliced peppers on. Drain your hot taters, and eat your food. That's the Lazy Man's Guide to Grilled Chicken. Only one oil spill and no burnt fingers. That's a near perfect record for me.